Hi, welcome back to Old House DIY. Simple project today, we've got to put this mirror on this wall. Although this is a big heavy wall and this is a fragile lime plastered wall, so it's not so simple. So stick around for some hints and tips on how I go about it. First of all, I've got some rough layout markings. So top tip, post-it notes don't stay in a freshly painted wall. So this is the top of the mirror. This line represents where the hooks or the eyes on the back of the mirror are. This post-it note is in line with the, this part of the wall and that post-it note is in line with the switch. What I'll do is I'll find the centre line and then I'll mark out from there. This height has been determined by the creative director. So once I've got this, everything else is centred and it'll all work fine. We've got our centre line between the marks identified. We've got our height identified. The distance between the hooks on the mirror is 155 centimetres. So either side of the centre, the centre line, 77.5 centimetres. We'll mark it up and then we can start looking at drilling some holes. You don't need a laser, but it does make life easier and it's a top tool I recommend every home DIY should have. Well, we're talking about tools. You saw me fiddling with this tape measure. It's quite an unusual tape measure. It's what's called a top reading tape. So you can still read a normal tape, but it also reads out across here. So you can set it very accurately, lock it off and the distance between here and here is displayed on there. I'm, it's a new acquisition, but I'm really starting to like it. We've got our holes marked. Now it's time to drill them. We'll need an 8mm hole. So these are two 8mm drill bits. This has got a parallel shank and it's for use in a standard combi drill. It will have a hammer function, but it's a standard combi drill. They don't necessarily hit that hard. This has got an SDS fitting. This is designed for an SDS hammer drill. They hit much harder and this is what we'll be using. Yeah. First, I like to pile a drill with a small bit. Now change and put the eight mil hole in. This next bit is where we go away from the traditional script and I find it really helps with these fragile walls. What we're going to do is we're going to bond the raw plugs in with a squirt of grip fill or no more nails. But first to do that we need to make sure the hole's dust free. So that, a piece of tube, this is just some earth sheathing, and we'll blow the inside of the hole out to make sure there's no dust. No more nails in the hole. Good pump so you see it come out. And I like to smear a bit around the raw plug as well. And then twist and insert in the hole. You will feel it sort of if you've got a good tight hole, you will feel it push back a bit, which is quite good. And then just tap the raw plug home and wipe off any squeeze out. We'll give that a few minutes to start setting up and then we'll put the screw in. In with the ridiculously sized screws now. Let's have a few minutes to set up.
putting the screw in now will just help force the raw plug out and expand into the grip fill. In case anybody's interested, I'm use, I use Fisher Duo Power. They are a 8mm diameter raw plug, 100mm long. I use 8mm hammer drill as I said earlier. And then into that I'm putting 6mm by 50 posi drive screws and they'll give a good strong bond. I'll now leave this for an hour, maybe two, depends what I get up to. Let this set off and then I'll come back and hang the mirror and then I'll show you what it looks like. There we go, the no more nails is set off and we've got the mirror hung on the wall. So, simple one, but I hope you liked it. Remember, a dab of grip fill or no more nails with the raw plugs helps. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please think about giving it a like and a subscribe and thanks for watching.